Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to walk through the steps of installing the driver for the Arduino board and uh, just running a simple uh, sample code. So I'm going to start opening up Firefox, and Firefox works best for this. You can see why in just a bit. Uh, but we need to download the driver for the Arduino. So we're just going to look for the Arduino website. Go to their home page. Download and the software for Windows in my case. I'll open it. Okay. There are all the files that I'll need. I'm going to put them in a location where I will know where they are. I'm just going to put them right in my C drive. Now that all the files are unzipped, we're almost ready to plug in our Arduino board through the USB port. But since uh, we're using a rugged Arduino, which is a variant of the Arduino board, we need to download their driver. So I'm going to go to the rugged Arduino. Web page and look for their driver, which is about halfway down. You click on it, kind of opens it as a text box. Uh, we want it as a .inf file. So I'm going to use Save As. And I'll just uh, put that to my desktop right now. Uh, one thing, if you use uh, Chrome, it will save it as a text file, so it won't work as a driver. Uh, but I'm going to take this and put the driver right here in the Arduino folder that I just created. Okay, now that we've got the driver situated, we're ready to plug in our Arduino board. Let's plug in the USB cord to the computer into the Reg Arduino. And it needs to be pointed to that driver. So I'm going to go to computer. Go to properties, go to the dev device manager, and then we see Regadrino down here with an exclamation mark because it doesn't know where the driver is, so let's double click on it. Update driver, browse my computer for the driver, and I know that I put it in my computer, you can see Regadrino. install the driver software in it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So it's right here. Take note that it's in com it's on COM port 8. We'll need that uh, need to know that for later. But now we've set up communications between the computer and the DAC board. Okay lastly we're just going to prove that we do indeed have communication with the Arduino board. Uh, the Arduino works off of its own uh, open source programming language. We can upload those programs to the Arduino board through this uh, application that is in the Arduino folder that we downloaded. A uh, couple things. You want to make sure that the board is the right board that you're using. So we're using the rugged Arduino which is analogous to the Uno. So we're fine there. Also that the serial port is the one you want. And we are on COM8. So I'm just going to open up uh, one of their examples comes with so let's see right here in C the Arduino folder we downloaded has examples. Let's go to basic link. I'm going to open that link.ino. So here we see basically what is going to happen each time the Arduino board goes through its cycle. This this loop all it does here is uh, put a high value to LED 13 and then wait a second and then a low value to LED 13 and wait a second. So LED is right there, the pin is here. So basically it should just blink once every second. So I'm going to upload this to the Arduino board. There it goes. It's there. We do indeed have blinking. So uh, it's successfully communicated.